Um... Hello there. So I'd like to talk you through um, some post-16 options that are available to young, pe young people after they leave school. Um, the law now states that young people need to stay on in education until they're 18. So that could mean a range of options. It doesn't just mean that the young person has to stay on in their current school or a sixth form. Um, it can mean other options as well, such as you could attend a college. Um, some colleges do both um, A-levels and vocational courses. Um, other colleges focus on, on specialise in certain things. Um, so you may want to explore that option. Um, another option available, which is a bit more widely recognised now, is apprenticeships. Um, I will do more talks on apprenticeships and give you a bit more information about that um, later down the line. So please watch this space um, if you want more information about apprenticeships. Um, there's other options available as well, which you may not have thought about and you may not have heard, heard of or considered. Um, and they are training providers. Um, and things like that. So, for example, um, a training provider could be a local provider in your area that may do level one or level two courses, um, as well as English and maths literacy and numeracy courses. So that may be um, a whole variety of vocational kind of subjects that may be available to you. Again, I can give you more information on that if need be. And again, that varies across the whole country, so you won't always get the same thing in, in different places. It depends on where you live and what funding is available in that area and what courses um, that place offers. It also may depend on what's popular in that area, because if a course isn't very popular, they won't be running it if there's only got two people subscribing to it, for example. Um, so there are a whole range of other options available to young people after they leave, leave school. There are other options as well, like resitting your GCSEs if there's a training provider in the area that may do that. Sometimes the local councils put on courses, especially in literacy and numeracy, sometimes resitting a, a direct GCSE. Because level 1 and level 2 English and Maths is not always the same thing as a GCSE and it can get a little bit confusing for people who aren't aware of that. If you do have any questions or you want any more information please leave a comment on the video and I will get back to you with a response or provide another video to give you some more information on that. So I hope I've provided you with some information on post 16 options for young people in the UK. Thanks for listening, bye for now.